Hey, hey, what's up, YouTube? How you guys doing out there? And welcome to the Walls Way, where every day we feed chickens, we talk to chickens, and we collect eggs from chickens. Chickens! Are we hungry today? Everybody doing good? They see what I got in my hand. And I'm, I'm about to give it to them, because this is heavy right here. I got a whole bunch of zucchini. I got some iceberg lettuce on top. And I got some shredded Mexican cheese in there out of the refrigerator. So we're going to go ahead and feed them. We're going to walk in here and give them their food. and We'll collect the eggs and do our thing. I'm going to give them this big old piece right here. Y'all look at that big old piece. Look at that. It's almost as big as the solar light. I'm going to try and get it far. That way it didn't hit them, but it did anyway, unfortunately. That's all right. We're tough chickens. All right, guys. Let me get in here. I got I got to get by, old girl. She's ready to eat. She is ready to eat. Oh my goodness! I don't think I'm gonna quite squeeze through here, girls. I'm just gonna dump a little bit everywhere. Try not to hit a chicken in the head with that zucchini block. All right. And while they're munching down on that, we'll sit here and we'll show you guys. We'll let them watch. Uh, excuse me. I'll start over. We'll sit here and let you guys watch them eat real quick. Is that good, guys? Y'all like that? Yep. Some good chickens. Healthy chickens. Say we like our vegetables. Now, again, that is zucchini. Big old zucchini, too. I like watching them eat. It lets me know they're doing good or staying healthy. Uh, while they're eating that, I'm going to go ahead and scoop out some, uh, some layer feed. We get done feeding them the layer feed, and we'll get some eggs. Now, as you guys know, I did not do a video yesterday, so we should have a good bit of eggs. I'm going to sit it right there. Get my, get my lid off. Get us some feed scooped out. and Again, we're going to do half layer feed, half uh, corn. I know I said I was going to do uh, just layer feed in the mornings because they kind of go through it fast. But in this heat, you gotta you gotta have plenty of protein. You gotta have plenty of water, you know, to keep yourself nice and hydrated, I guess, and well fit. And I don't want to deprive them of anything. Lord knows I can afford it, so I figured let's just go ahead and give it to them. All right. I see nobody's at the gate. That's good. Big old zucchini. Look at that. That zucchini compared to a, a size 12 foot. Y'all eat on that zucchini all night long. So we do have water. A little dirty, but we do have water. That's all right. Y'all drink that tonight and in the morning I will get y'all some fresh water. All right. We're going to go ahead and pour this in here. Arizona, what are you doing, old girl? Come on stir this up a little bit that way they know it is half and half look at these chickens look at the chickens it's the first time i think i've ever got to pet arizona you feel about like the rest of them though <laughs> nice and soft look at them tearing that lettuce part y'all get it you get that lettuce it's crazy to watch them eat because they'll they'll get a beak full and they'll just sling it around kind of like a dog with a rope Okay, what is that? That is a chicken feather. I thought that was a dead rat for a second. My goodness. All right, guys, I'm going to get by. We're going to go up here and get our egg carton. I bet you we got a bunch of eggs. Uh, so the reason I know I don't, I, don't, I can't talk today. I'm going to start over again. I know I told you guys Wednesday that I was going to try and do a video. Uh, on Thursday, but most likely I wouldn't. Uh, had a few things I had to take care of. I had to get some insurance information squared away uh, to get my daughter and I exam for driver's ed. Um, teenagers, it's definitely a ride. Definitely time consuming, but it's all worth it. Uh, it's all good now. We got everything taken care of. I uh, just need a little bit of free time to kind of get everything squared away. Uh, I do work a full time job. You know, so I, I do have that going on during the day. And when I come home, I do have some chores and family stuff I, I got to attend to. 
But I didn't forget about you guys. We're gonna slip that right there. We're gonna get our egg cart and our gloves. I think Thelma came out of the box. I can't I can't be for certain. I don't remember seeing Thelma. But yeah, uh it's a good day. It is a beautiful day here in good old Newton, North Carolina. Not a cloud in sight. That's what I like to see. It is hot though. Um I'm not gonna go up there and look at the thermometer. We're getting ready to get some eggs. Y'all gonna see all the sweat coming off my off my big old forehead. So it is definitely hot. There's Winnie. Winnie, what are you doing out your nesting box, old girl? All right. So now that we're in here, Thelma is out of the box. So that is good. We got to watch where we step. We don't want to step on chicken or no zucchini. All right. So we usually start here at number four. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go in old numerical order. I'm going to start down here at number one. What does number one have for us today? We got three beautiful eggs. That's all. That's a pretty good start. We're gonna go ahead and take them. I'm gonna get the blue one first because I like the blue ones. We're gonna get this one right here. And then, oh my goodness, look how big that one is. Look at the size comparison. That's crazy how big they get. And I'm gonna kind of straighten the feathers back out a little bit. Get those nice and flat again chickens what I don't know what's going on out here with chickens There's something in that zucchini again Thelma also she is queen chicken I don't know why they fight there's plenty of food to go around guys I'm not going to bring out just a little bitty piece of food expect y'all to share Got enough for everybody. All right, let's get back to the egg game. We're gonna move here to box number two. We have one egg, one pretty blue egg. Again, we're gonna kind of straighten these back up just a little bit. I might put some shavings in there tomorrow just to top it off, give us some fresh ones. I don't think I quite got that with the way I want it, but. All right, we're gonna slide down here to box number three we have two eggs and a golf ball i'm gonna take those so i had a gentleman the other day ask me what the purpose of the golf ball was and i answered him in the comments but in case anybody else is wondering it's but it's to help the new chickens anytime you introduce new chickens to the to the coop or the flock it's to help them know where to lay eggs we're gonna put this here in number two well I thought I was. I dropped it. My goodness, chickens. Y'all thought that was an egg. Y'all don't peck that now. It's going to hurt you in his beak. Let me get that. But yes, it is to help new chickens know where to lay at. Uh, you can go to Tractor Supply and you can buy ceramic eggs. You can probably get them off Amazon. But a golf ball will work just as good. It's kind of saves you a little money if you got any golf balls laying around. We're going to go here to number four. And we have... One, two, three, four, five, six eggs. I'm gonna set it right here. Cause it is hot, I am pouring sweat. I gotta wipe my face off. I don't, I don't know what you got. I get sweat in my eyes, it just burns. I don't, I don't like it. So we're going to number four. We're gonna get two nice little eggs. We're gonna go back in number four. This one's got a feather on it. We don't eat feathers, we don't need that. Uh, we're going to get two more. Back into number four. We're going to get four more eggs. That's got some shavings on it. That's all right. And that looks like that's all the eggs we're going to get. Uh, I'll show you guys here in just a second, but we've gotten exactly one dozen eggs. We've got 12 eggs. Uh, again, it is pretty hot out here. It's, it's, it is July. North Carolina is a southern state, so it stays hot. Um, in the 90s, uh, again, when it gets really hot like this, it does kind of throw the chicken's egg laying off a little bit. Um, nothing to really worry about. It's nothing that's going to hurt them. It just kind of slows them down a little bit. And I'll give you a good explanation or a good example. Um, you go outside to, I don't know, do some kind of outdoor activity, whether you wash your car or you mow your yard. Uh, when the heat is hot like this, you feel yourself getting slow and kind of weak. That's 
kind of the same way with chickens. You know, they'll still lay an egg just like you'll still wash your car, but it's just going to take you a little bit longer. You know, just kind of got to be smart about it, especially in this heat and everything. But other than that, the chickens are doing great. Um, the channel's doing great. I got to thank you guys for that. Um, it means more to me than what y'all know. Again, this is new to me, so every day is a learning curve. Um, not perfect by no means, but I do like it. I'm glad you guys like it. I love, love, love reading the comments. I, I love seeing the comments about uh, whether the chickens or the fish pond or my accent, just all that stuff. It always puts a smile on my face. Uh, fortunately, I, I do have a great job where I don't have hardly any, if, if any at all, bad days and reading some of the comments is just just a bonus just just love doing it but yeah uh if you guys got any questions about the chickens or anything about the fish pond or any anything in general just feel free to ask away i do i do pretty good to answer everybody's comments back um uh, i like answer them uh there's a couple youtube channels that I, I watch myself and i've commented on before and i don't really get a, i don't ever get a response now those channels are a lot more bigger than mine they're big time whereas i'm just starting out but it's just nice to know you've been recognized um yeah so oh, i gotta i gotta fluff these up y'all probably don't want to see me no more y'all probably want to see the chickens and, and i'm just straightening this up right here i'm gonna i'm gonna quit yakking i don't know what that is that looks like it looks like a big old thing of chicken poo and i just picked it up with my bare hands good job eric but we are doing good. There, there hasn't been any changes out here in the coop. Uh, I didn't really do anything yesterday. Uh, kind of fill you guys in. I, I know I said I went to take care of some insurance information at the eye doctor. But I didn't do anything out here. Um, I, I filled up their layer feed. I, I went to Tractor Supply and I got some layer feed and filled that up. But I didn't, I didn't do anything different out here. Uh, I would like to do something different out here. I don't know exactly quite what I want to do. Um, I don't know. I'm, I've always been the kind of person like I'm, I'm just never satisfied. I got to keep changing stuff or keep improving it or keep working on something. And I get a lot of people telling me my coop looks good. Your coop is awesome. That's an amazing coop. Where'd you get the roofs? Where'd, where'd you get whatever? But to me, I'm just, I don't know. Um, anything y'all think I can do the coop, be sure to comment, kind of help me out. Give me some ideas. But yeah. Y'all about picked that zucchini dry. Them look like zucchini donuts right now. Yep. So we're all doing good. Hey, girl. Yep, yep, yep. I do plan on doing Sunday Spotlight this Sunday. Uh, haven't quite decided what chicken I'm going to do her on. We're going to pick us one out. Yeah. It is very hot. I am sweating like crazy. I noticed the chickens got their beaks open. They do that just like a dog uh, to help pant and cool themselves off. Yep, yep, yep. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, this is a PG channel now. We, we can't be doing that. <laughs> I like to keep this family friendly. Y'all just witnessed uh, egg making in its finest. Now, tomorrow we'll get an egg and it'll be a fertilized egg because y'all just... Got to witness that. In case you didn't know what it looks like when chickens mate, that's it right there. Uh, that being said, I think we're going to cut it off right here. I think we've done plenty today. I think you guys have seen more than, more than what you wanted to see going on with the chickens. Uh, try and come up with something cool tomorrow. But yeah, uh, it, it's really hot. I know I'm pouring sweat, but... You know, when you get old and fat like me, that's kind of what happens. So, yeah. Um, I feel like there's something I was going to say, but I can't remember now. I know what it is. So, I got my egg stamp in the mail today, right? Um, in the past videos, I've been talking about, like, the custom stamp to stamp my logo onto, onto the eggs. And if you're not sure what I'm talking about, I mentioned this before. But if you ever bought the Eggland's Best brand, it's got the EG stamped on every single egg. Well, I got my egg stamped, right? I got it in the mail a couple days ago. Uh, it's nothing too fancy. It's just outline of a chicken, and it says the Walls way. 
Um, it did not come with an ink pad. And believe it or not, I ended up going to Walmart thinking they'd have an ink pad in, in the arts and crafts or the, the home office supplies. And would y'all believe they don't have any ink pads at Walmart? Or at least not at our Walmart. So I didn't really feel like going to Office Max or anywhere like that and spending a fortune on some executive fancy ink pad. So I ordered one off Amazon. Uh, it came today. Um, I think what I'm going to do tomorrow is while I'm filming, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to practice getting that stamp right. We'll come out here. We'll... Uh, We'll feed the chickens. We'll talk to them. We'll get our eggs just like we always do every day. And then I'm going to go up here on the porch and I'm going I'm to show you guys my logo. And we're going to stamp the eggs together, basically. Uh, see how that'll work. I'm not going to do it to these eggs because I do want to try and practice, you know, getting that roll under the egg, getting that nice curve. Those eggs aren't flat. Um, I do want to practice, but the very first egg I stamp, you guys will be able to see it. Um, we'll do that tomorrow. Be sure to tell me what you guys think. I think think we're probably coming up on 15 minute mark so we're probably going to go ahead and shut her down right about now um again i want to thank you guys so much for watching without you guys none of this would be possible none of this would be uh there wouldn't be no point in doing it It'd be pointless i am pouring sweat i am burning up i'm about to go inside uh so yeah again thank you guys so much for watching do please continue to like share and subscribe and i will see y'all tomorrow thanks see you later